To watch a bird that has evolved into one of the world's most skillful hunters, I've come to Italy and the city of Rome. There's a bird that flies over these roofs that finds its prey not on the ground, but in the air. And it owes its success to its speed. In fact, it's said to be the fastest moving animal on earth, the peregrine. Peregrines hunt other birds. Many different kinds of birds now live in cities, attracted by the food and shelter that is so easily found here. And a tall building like this is an ideal lookout for a hunter. Flying prey can move in any direction it chooses, so a hunter has to be both fast and agile if it's to get a meal. A peregrine's wings have a very special shape. They're pointed and swept back. If wings have a blunt end, air will swirl over that end, forming trails of turbulence. These act like brakes slowing a bird down. But pointed wings shrink that edge and so reduce the turbulence. Pulling the wings back towards the body makes the bird even more streamlined. And speed is crucial to a peregrine's success. It also has acute vision that enables it to spot prey over a mile away. And for the peregrines that hunt in Rome, these birds are prime targets. Starlings. They too are fast flyers. And their smaller size makes them even more maneuverable. So, to catch a starling, a peregrine must be even faster. And in order to gain speed and surprise, it attacks from above. First, it climbs. When it sees a group of its potential prey, it turns, dives, and accelerates by beating its wings. The starlings are still unaware of the danger hurtling towards them. Finally, the peregrine draws its wings back. This is called the stoop, a superb streamlined shape that slices through the air. Now it can reach speeds of over 200 miles an hour. As it nears its target, it opens its wings to slow its descent and makes its final lunge. <laughs> 